from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Johannesburg Water has showcased some of the various reservoirs and systems that supply the city of Johannesburg with water. The utility also outlined the challenges in operating the systems that feed the economic hub with a critical resource. Natasha Oedendahl has the story. Johannesburg Water abstracts 1.6 billion litres of potable water daily from Rand Water to supply Johannesburg through a water infrastructure network comprising 129 reservoirs and water towers. The water utility recently hosted media on a tour of four critical reservoir and water tower complexes across Santon, showcasing its infrastructure supplying the region, including Africa's richest mile. The first reservoir here was built in 1969, making it the oldest, the Res 1 and that tower was built in 1969 and the, it's been in existence for 55 years. So that's basically um, the, the information as to when the journey of this complex start. But the Res 5, which is the, the youngest Res, was built in 1998, which means um, as the demand um, grows as the um, consumption requirement, the patterns change. So you will notice that we started with one reservoir in the tower, we end up with five to, um, to um, enable um, Johannesburg water to distribute the water across this area of supply. And uh, taking note, it's still growing, the demand is still growing, we still maybe in the future we'll need to add additional capacity as far as um, meeting the, the, the demand is concerned. We have um, a pipe replacement program which is driven by our project management or capital investment um, department. We do have programs across the city. Every region will most probably have a project that is running. That is more of um, the rate at how we are replacing maybe is not at the pace that we would like. But we do replacement, we do add um, capacities, storage, we do have a project currently for one of the critical systems which is called Commando. We are adding um, additional reservoir and an additional tower there because we already know that the demand now has um, uh, entered the space where now we are very constrained. The Santon system recently experienced a major water outage for nearly two weeks following a lightning strike at a city power substation which caused the Aikenhof system to stop pumping water. In the issue where our sister company, City Power, unfortunately, it's a weather event that hit the substation. It's really unfortunate. But that means we, sh we should now invest on having um, additional capacity. But now I will not enter in the space of City Power. But those are the discussions that we discuss in the broader space to, to engage our sister company. City Power is also an uh, entity of the city of Johannesburg. So we are able to enter into those discussions and look into the future as to how we can mitigate such kind of a, a challenge so that we do not experience this kind of an outage. As Johannesburg Water battles aging infrastructure, rising demand amid a growing population and limited funds, the entity may fall short of the required investment for the future. However, the entity is managing with what it has to work towards closing the gap, including plugging the leaks. We do not have enough funding as far as our ambitious approach to the infrastructure is concerned. But we do have reasonable funding to keep the existing infrastructure maintained, rehabilitated and address those emergencies. However, I must admit, they are sometimes overwhelming, especially the, 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 the infrastructure that is underground. It requires maintenance. There's um, over 12,000 kilometers of pipelines that delivers water to the entire city. That infrastructure is very crucial to the water security to, to ensure that we have got sustainable um, um, operations as well. So we need investment there. Hence we've got um, a re pipe renewal program. However, we admit it is beyond, um, it is um, um, slightly below what we will ambitiously wish to invest. The dialogue must change. Um, definitely the city needs to look at how are the different mechanisms and models to ensure that the funding to the infrastructure, because water is crucial, water is important and water is life and we appreciate that. So there must be a different debate, but however, there are no um, um, uh, uh, 
confirmed discussions, but there are discussions that now have been taken on all the spheres of the government to say, well, how, how can we uh, augment the investment on the water infrastructure for the security of this important resource that is water? Solar Power Solutions company SunGrow has introduced a new three-phase battery inverter system in South Africa, suited to both residential and commercial industrial applications. Darren Parker attended the launch in Johannesburg to find out more. SunGrow's new three-phase inverter and battery energy solution features several new inverter models and battery options to suit small to medium-sized businesses and residential users alike. For residential applications, the single-phase inverters include a 6 kW and 10 kW option, while the new three-phase inverters include a 15 kW, 20 kW and 25 kW option. For commercial and industrial applications, the company now also offers a 125 kilowatt hour string inverter. Uh, we're here today because we're launching our new uh, three-phase hybrid inverter, which is the latest development that has been brought to South Africa upon uh, verifying and studying the requirements that we saw in South Africa, along with some other markets that shares the same specifics and particulars of the country. Uh, a three-phase hybrid inverter is a solar inverter that is designed to be installed in combination with uh, solar panels and batteries uh, to power or to enable, I would say, uh, large uh, residential households and uh, small to medium-sized enterprises and, and businesses to power, their, uh, to power and run three-phase um, loads. Um, we do believe that the affected segment will benefit from this product by uh, means of maintaining normal operation during grid interruptions and by means of uh, maintaining uh, the, their productivity levels during uh, grid outages. The estimated return on investment of these systems is three years, after which the savings accrued from lower grid power use would start to yield profit. Users can either run a single unit connected to alternating current load or string together up to 8 inverters with 32 batteries, providing up to 200 kilowatts in total capacity. Three-phase hybrid inverters is a piece of machine that helps you in running your three-phase loads. Uh, last year we were mainly focused on uh, launching our single phase inverter that was mainly dedicated to residential households, small apartments, small uh, I would say households. But now we're seeing that the, the attention and focus in South Africa is moving towards CNI application or what we call commercial and industrial uh, uh, and, th and for those kinds of, of loads we typically require a three-phase hybrid inverter. I think that the product that we have fits in any of the industries that requires a three-phase load. It's, n it's nothing limited to the, to the industry as much as it's limited to the form of, of the load that we're having in those facilities. I would say that those facilities will not only benefit from having an uninterrupted power supply and also not only benefit from lowering their, their uh, uh, I would say, electricity cost, but they will also save so much on their carbon emissions. And we do believe that with that product, we can somehow support the country in reaching towards the carbon neutral targets that the country is running after. The system features SunGrow's patented potential induced degradation zero technology, which sends a negative feed to the solar panels at night, restoring them from degradation. This technology helps to mitigate the effects of long exposure to high temperature, high humidity and dust, which leads to unavoidable potential induced degradation in photovoltaic modules, causing a power generation loss of up to 30%. I would like to emphasize that uh, our products, first of all, are more efficient. Uh, 
they are, first of all, they deploy high voltage LFP, which by, by nature of the circuit architecture makes the, 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 the losses internally inside the, the inverter much less. And also uh, the, the, the cable cross sections that you require outside the inverter and in connection between the batteries and the inverters are even smaller in size, which uh, uh, in a way or another makes uh, the, the, uh, the system more efficient and, and experience less losses. This is the first thing. The second thing, uh, our new hybrid inverter deploys uh, three maximum power point trackers, which is a function that enables the system installer to have three different sets of PV panels connected that, that could be connected uh, or sorry that could be orientated or tilted differently versus the other groups following the the uh, site conditions while ensuring that each of those subgroups is uh, I would say uh, being harvested in the maximum uh, possible way based on the available power from the sun. Besides this, on the commercial front, I would like to also emphasize that in South Africa we have a service team that is 24-7 accessible by, by our customer base, which makes the downtime uh, as low as, as short as possible and which gives us an edge versus our competition. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.